Welcome back, Hunters. Today we'll go through the mysterious world of the MMR ranking system within Hunt Showdown. We'll go through and talk about the MMR updates, the hidden ELO, and everything else in between. Hopefully this video will give you a better understanding of what's going on with the MMR system and maybe give you a little bit more insight of what's happening on the console side with the MMR system. First things first, let's break down the basics. MMR stands for Matchmaking Ranking, and it's a system used to match you with other players of similar skill levels, but they also use a star system in Hunt Showdown. One star is a weak player, while the six stars are the best players. The MMR system in Hunt Showdown operates with a hidden ELO-based algorithm behind it. The goal is to ensure fair and balanced gameplay while placing you in matches that offer a challenge without being too overwhelming. But this does not take into effect about prestige and playtime. None of that matters in these calculations. But you're probably wondering how I figured all this out. How do I know that the prestige is not calculated into the MMR ranking system? First thing is, is I play this game way too long. Second thing is, I was in a live stream on Facebook watching a streamer play Hunt. This streamer kindly let us know that a dev was in chat and this dev was a friend of his. So I asked multiple questions about how the MMR ranking system actually is calculated. After all those questions, they pretty much responded with no prestige amount time played is not included in all of those. So now armed with this information, how do I figure out and confirm that this new information is true from this dev in the chat? Luckily, I came across a video on YouTube from Slayer that pretty much had everything laid out for me and all the calculations were set up. As he goes through his video, he pretty much tells us that it's really just the chess ELO calculations in the background, just making sure you get into lobbies with the same people with the same skill level. It is a very good video to watch. The link is in the description below. So now we have that all covered. There's a hidden ELO attached to the MMR and this all happens in the background while you play. But then I remember watching a video from a while ago, it's almost exactly a year ago because we're heading up to the six years. This was at the five year stream for the five year anniversary of Hunt Showdown. I really do clearly remember a comment being made and then I went through a whole bunch of videos and found a clip I was looking for to where he goes on and Mets, says- We're gonna work on matchmaking improvements. Um, and so that's where we're going to try emphasizing the full lobbies a little bit and late, lately releasing some of the skill clamping. So there might Which is great if you're doing the releasing the skill clampings to the whole community. But when you take it at individual parts, uh, which we're going to go through later, it's actually not so good, especially on the console side. So then when he says all of that, he also does state that there is an issue between Bounty Hunt system and the system for Soul Survivor and how certain people like to gain one to do the other, which we do have that problem on the console side a lot more than we do on the PC side. And just so you can hear it for yourself, here's the clip of him saying that in general. Between quick play and bounty hunt for adjustments, you know, it's another popular topic that comes up in the community about how people are gaming one system to try and get an advantage in the other. And if you're liking my video so far, please hit the like, subscribe, and maybe even hit the bell notification for more videos. Now let's get back to the video that you're just watching. So now as a community, we can acknowledge that there is an issue between Bounty Hunt and Soul Survivor. So why is this so important? Because as of right now, since then, so this is over a year old. So now this has been going on for a whole year, which I notice it more and more lately because less and less players are on console. If you go into Soul Survivor and tank each and every match, you can come out and your Bounty Hunt will go down to a three-star MMR and will not affect your KD. So now we don't know if it's a legit good player at three stars or just someone tanking their MMR. I do know more people, more players are actually doing this because they have been saying it publicly and acknowledging the fact on Facebook and discords. And I know this because there has been posts as recently as Monday of this week that I have seen stuff being posted on discord and Facebook. There's still more to this conversation to be had. I'm going to end this one here for right now. I do have another video coming out tomorrow to go over the rest of the facts that I have. Please let me know in the comments below if you think this MMR update from a year ago is helping or hurting. And also, is this all new information for you about the quick play and hunt bounty being connected? 
And then tomorrow we can go over the resolution I have for Soul Survivor and the Hunt Bounty ELO being connected with the MMR system. I'll see you or fight you in the bayou. Later.